When you get this, this isn't exactly a strong project. So if you put it in the vise wrong, it could crack and break all apart. First thing you want to do is you want to sand this so the sides are even. You want to have this feel like one piece of wood. So put it in your vise like this. And sand just on the ends. You don't have to sand the whole thing because this is already flat. You just have to sand the ends until they get flat. You also want to round over the corners. You round over the corners. Sand that flat to get the scratches off the sides. You want to take it off the sanding paper. The sandpaper that you use is in that box right there. To get those scratches off, you want to sand this way. To get those scratches off, you want to sand this way. And you don't want to have bumps where the two pieces of wood come together. So you might have to stand this way and then turn left. Or this way and turn right. So eventually it will look like this. Where the corners are rounded, these are flat and there's no scratches on here. You won't have very large cracks, but if you have a crack, small cracks like that, you don't need extra sawdust. All you need is a glue bottle and a paper towel. Just a little bit. You have a little dab of glue, so you do not need this much paper towel. You just need a little bit. Wipe the corner. Then you can see where it is dirty. You want to sand until you have no more dirty. And then that will fill in the crack. You don't have to put any extra sawdust in. If you have an extra large crack, the sawdust is kept right here. You can sprinkle a little sawdust before you sand. Send it over. I went crazy and rounded way over on my ends. Also look to see that you filled in the cracks and you have no scratches. If you've done all that, I will give you a coping saw. The coping saw has a very thin blade. If the handle is loose, Bring it to me and I'll tighten it. If the handle is loose and you try to tighten it, the blade's gonna twist around. You wanna hold this metal piece to tighten it to the right. If you can't figure that out, bring it to me and I will tighten it for you. When you put this in the vise, you're gonna have to flip this four times or you run the risk of cutting your project in half. To put it down here, you're only gonna cut this piece off. This saw cuts when you pull it toward you and don't lose track of the scraps. You're gonna need these to get the next piece. Then flip it over. Only cut the one that is on the bottom. Cut as close as you can to the pine when you're cutting these off. Then you're gonna bring those four pieces back plus the coping saw. And I will give you this piece, so hand those to Coon, and then I will give you this piece. You're gonna pick one of the sides, it doesn't matter which side. The side that is the flattest, that's the one you want to do this on. When you put this in, it's gonna be loose, so you wanna put a thin layer of glue on each side. So just a little bit, you don't need much, about that much on each side. Slide it in the bottom. You want this even with the bottom. You're going to notice that it's not going to cover the whole side. It doesn't need to cover from side to side, just somewhere in the middle, and you want it flat. How you can tell this is flat if you put it on the table and it falls over, it's not flat. If you sand it flat, use a sandy board. And sand this until you put it on there and it doesn't fall over. What you're sanding is the little pieces of masonite that you just cut off. You want this flat with the bottom and to know that this is yours, you wanna write your name on the bottom. You're gonna be sanding the top name off. So leave, make sure we know this is yours. You're gonna round the top over like you did the side. You're gonna sand your name off the top. You're gonna sand it so there's no bumps.